Human advances have come to a point where night and day are reduced down to social constructs. No difference between the two. In cities, the night is just as bright as the day, yet we still sleep. We still know to go home and go to bed when it's dark out. However, in the country, you'll never see the world around you at night. But in cities, you'll see too much. Sleep doesn't come easy to those in cities. I like to think that home is where I can return to after a long and confusing day. Sit with my thoughts, think. But that's becoming less and less likely every single day. I can't eat. can't sleep. I can't even find a place to stay.
People tend to think I'm dangerous. Not everyone needs to be thrown out of a place they don't belong. I leave if you ask me to. Now I'm really starting to think that home doesn't even exist. I never feel like I'm truly there, anyway. But even with defeat in mind, I usually have the same thought come to me. I really, really need a fucking change right now. A while ago, I saw a goose in a pond nearby. So I tried to get his attention, but they didn't really want much to do with me. I even tried giving it some food and it turned away. Fucking prick. Now that I'm at a total standstill, I don't expect things to get better. I refuse to let them. Until I met her. Existence is a game, one that I refuse to play. I never bothered to learn the rules, and I don't particularly care if that's what you think is the right choice or not. So why don't you just piss off? You can't change me anyway. But, alas, I still can't sleep. I still can't eat. And I don't live anywhere. People look at me and think, well, I actually don't know, but I know it's probably something stupid. It only makes sense.
But think whatever you want. It comforts me that I occupy your brain. I always will. Morph me into whatever you'd like. Always be me right now. I refuse to let anyone know what I'm about to do. That's not what survival is about. And although I don't play the game, I could tell that he didn't even know that it existed. She seemed so quiet, shy, not really friendly, but had a face that I could look at. I thought that maybe I could- Give him the time of day, at least for now. I need a change. And I think the best way to recuperate is with a distraction. distraction. Don't ask me that. Just a question. How old are you? Don't ask me that. What's your favorite song? That's it. That's my favorite song. I grieve in stereo. The stereo sounds strange. You like that? 
Yeah. No, you didn't. Have you ever went swimming before? Are you okay? I'm fine. I've never been swimming. But I thought maybe being cold towards that will make him think something happened to me while I was swimming. Where's your dream home? Calgary. That seems lit. Cool. Wanna go see a movie? People tend to look taller when they walk slower, especially men. Can't be seen walking around with a shrimp, nor a coward who runs from me. Yeah, but you can still see it. This is zombie apocalypse outside. This is zombie, zombie apocalypse, apocalypse outside. outside. You heard me. You heard, you heard me. me. No. You can't look out there. Not now. Why not? You can't handle it. I know how scared you can get. Trust me. Okay. For now.
I think I want to look outside. I really, really think I want to look outside. going to look outside. I don't get it. What is there to get? You like music? Why are you wearing Chuck Taylors today? Are you ever going to unfold your arms? I started to regret picking this one. Some people are too stupid and annoying to manipulate. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite type of shoe? Your food, your favorite food. It's something, I know I gotta be. You're like me. I don't hate her, but I took that to heart. I am not like you. I don't blame him for not taking me seriously after what I 
let him do. I still don't believe you. But if there is a way I can find out. But I saw something in those eyes. Something bad. He needed to know. The soul of all over my head And as I climb into an empty bed Oh well, not sad I know it's over, still I cling I don't know where else I can go Mother, 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 mother. Oh, mother, I can feel the sorrow falling over my head. See the sea wants to take me. Knife wants to slip me. Do you think you can help me? Sad little bride, please be happy. Handsome home, the world. Well, let us love her, treat her kindly, for she needs you more than she loves you. And I know it's over, still I cling. I don't know where else I can go. Mother, 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 mother. Love is natural, real. Just not for you, my love. Not tonight, my love. You feel so funny. And why are you on your own tonight? And if you're so clever, then why are you on your own tonight? If you're so very good looking, why are you on your own tonight? If you are so very entertaining, why is the night? Oh, mother, I can feel the soil falling over my head. Have you found anything? Did you find anything? If I 
I can't know your name, we should at least have code names. Okay. Call me one. Why do you get to be one? Because you're a man? Yes. We started a plan and a way out for both of us. But I knew she wouldn't be toast without me. I couldn't let her go. I knew he was like me. Why is your hair blonde? But I don't know how much longer I can stand him. You still didn't answer my question about the food. Do you like lipstick? Like, like, girly stuff? Can I kiss you? No. I don't know why I asked that. I have to ask you these questions. I feel more of a connection when I ask you these questions. I have to know the answer. She so mean to me, but I felt this searing sensation to give her a gift of any kind. At this point, it's just sad. He needs to understand that I'll never... Never mind. Fuck you. I thought maybe showing some real emotion would help her understand my thoughts. <laughs> I've never been closer to suicide, but I can't be a coward, not like him. Have you ever just thought about calling an Uber? I don't know how to do that. She should have listened to me. The second the driver talked to me, I panicked. This fucking idiot pulls a gun out of his pocket. Where did he even get it from? Then, after apologizing, he tells the driver to take us to Calgary. She said she didn't want to go. I thought she was kidding until she hopped out and told the driver not to turn back. It was for his own good. I'm not worth being around. Not for long anyway. Soon enough, this concrete ocean will open up and swallow me whole. I'm so angry that I can't even bring myself to act like a normal person. But I know what he's probably thinking. Does she miss me? I hate you! I hate that I miss you! Stop trying to save me! Fuck you. I miss you.
fuck you. I miss you. I wish I were a ball of clay. I want to be fixable, moldable, able to be morphed by steady hands into whatever I need to be. But I know I just harden under a thin plastic wrap. I would simply roll off the ledge of the window and onto the sidewalk. But even then, I would not change shape. I thought your dream home was in Canada. No. But I got an idea where it might be. Calgary was lit. But everyone there is nice and sweet. I didn't like that at all. I guess I could have just enjoyed the quiet company of strangers. And I don't really feel the need to know about them anymore. They're all the same. Except for you. I found this book called A Dictionary today. And I read every word until I found one that made sense. I don't know about reading. But I know more about spelling. L-O-V-E. Whatever that means. I'm saying that to you. Will you join me? In the past, when a hand reached out in my direction, it usually had a bird on the end of it. But this one had a flower. I've never been closer to suicide. But I'm slowly getting closer to you. So the least I can do is answer one of your questions. If you want to run away with me, I know a galaxy, I'll take you for a ride, I know. Had a premonition that we fell into the rhythm and the music don't stop for life. Glitter in the sky, glitter in my eye, shining just the way you like. If you need a little bit of company, you met me at the, met me at the perfect time.